Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making croissants and I will also be sampling some butter that has been made specifically for puff pastry application. The butter comes in a one kilo sheet which is much larger than a standard block of butter but this will make it easier for introducing to any puff pastry recipes. And just for reference, I have included a standard block of butter to give an idea on the difference in size. Begin by placing the water and milk into a jug and adding the yeast and then stirring to allow the yeast to dissolve. Next put the flowers, sugar and salt into a bowl and then dice 125 grams of the butter into small cubes and add to the mix. Very loosely rub the butter into the flour mix, it's important that there are still chunks of butter remaining otherwise the pastry will not puff properly during baking. Next check to see if the yeast has dissolved fully into the water and milk mixture. If it hasn't give it a quick stir with a whisk to combine fully. Next add the yeast mixture to the flour mixture and then form into a dough. Keep it in mind you still need to have chunks of butter visible towards the end. Once the dough has formed, turn out and then very very lightly knead to make into a dough ball and then cover and refrigerate for 45 minutes. Next, sandwich the remaining 100 grams of butter between two sheets of greaseproof paper and roll into a thin, flat, rectangular sheet of butter. Then remove the pastry from the fridge and then flour very gently and roll into a rectangle shape before placing the butter on top. Once the butter is being placed on top, fold the pastry half over and then with the remaining other half, fold it half over again to create three layers and then return to the refrigerator for 25 minutes. After the 25 minutes, remove the pastry from the refrigerator again, roll out and repeat the sequence of rolling it into a rectangle and then making three folds, but this time do the process twice. Cover the dough again and return to the refrigerator for at least 25 minutes or until you are ready to use. When you're ready to use the pastry, if you slice in half and then look, you should be able to now see the different layers of lamination. Thank you. 
using half a pastry at a time, roll the pastry out very thinly and then slice into four triangles and then roll into a croissant shape before placing onto a tray ready for baking. Leave on the tray to prove for one to two hours depending on the room temperature. As it proves you should be able to see the laminations of the pastry up close and once proven egg wash before placing into a oven at 180 degrees celsius until golden brown. The top tip is to keep a bake stone on the lower shelf of your oven. The bake stone will help to spread the heat more evenly and should give for a better bake. Once baked, allow to cool on the tray for 5 minutes before transferring to a cooling rack to cool fully. The croissants should last approximately 24 hours, although if needed for later on you do have the option to freeze. I found this butter to be fantastic for making a puff pastry recipe and I hope you enjoy making your own croissants. Once again, thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a like and leave a comment if you wish. And also please consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you next time.